In fundraising news of late, also reported on BevNet, Nitro Beverage Company, the maker of Nitro Coffee Beverages and soon-to-be lattes as well, announced the completion of a $1.5 million seed round led by Verso Capital. Also, the co-founders of functional drink brand Cloudwater announced that they closed on a $2.7 million seed round, whose investors include Vitamin Water Vets Bruce Nirenberg and Carol Dollard. Again, you can read about both on BevNet.com. Interestingly, uh, both Nitro Beverage Company and Cloudwater participated in our New Beverage Showdown competition, uh, Nitro, in the summer of 2018 and Cloudwater in the summer of 2019. It's really encouraging to see this news. Um, and I wonder how encouraging it is for other brands that are looking to do fundraises in 2021. I bet it's really encouraging, Ray. I mean, I know Cloudwater has big aspirations with their new immunity line. So they've recently put out a line extension that takes the CBD out of cloud water and gives you the great taste with some different functions. So that's pretty exciting for them. I think it's interesting to see how um, things are evolving after 2020. Some brands had to pivot. They've had to modify you know, how they're promoting their products, own the D2C space, um, launch new products. For example, like Mike said, the immunity line for cloud water. And I think now is a time where some brands are ready to step on the gas and investment is one way to do that. Yeah. And it seems like so far, you know, the investment has, is kind of only bouncing back stronger. I mean, we've seen a lot of, you know, deals, both acquisitions and investments, you know, already in the first quarter 2021 and we're, you know, it's not like we're out of the woods yet here. So um, I think those are really encouraging signs and, you know, I think for all the brands that that did pivot and make it through and, you know, do all the stuff Jackie was saying, you know, this hopefully should, uh, should be a uh, rewarding period. I also think it's going to be an interesting period because we're, we're starting to move, if we're indeed moving out of the pandemic, and I think we are, we're moving into hybrid world. So there are so many new options for brands who have, you know, built up these, these D to C capabilities. And now they're going to have to decide with their discrete resources, where to focus their time because with retail coming, you know, people going back to retail, which I think they've been going, but, you know, going back and it becoming more important to, you know, have the in-store experience and that sort of thing. It's going to be interesting to see how the world just changes. Cause I don't know if we're going to go back to where we were before. I think it's going to be a new world with new opportunity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think just D2C in the digital space has opened the door to new brands, new emerging brands, new opportunities. And I think that's only a great sign for up and coming beverage brands. 